Welcome back. I'm not big enough for In case you missed our last video, we shared our safe flight from the Fort Lauderdale Airport to Lima, Peru. On our first day, we ventured out to fill our bellies with the famous chicharrones at El Chinito. <laughs> and lastly, we shared the views from the various parks that sit high above the cliffs and look out to the beautiful ocean in Lima, Florida. video we'll continue our tour of Lima, Peru. We'll stop by one of our favorite ceviche spots and head downtown to El Centro for some sights and sweet treats. A real treat when visiting Peru is the tasty ceviche. The preparation and consumption of ceviche is practically a religion in parts of Mexico, Central, and South America. Even though Peru is known for its ceviche, it's best to do your research and make sure you're going to places known for quality ceviche. We are happy to share with you one of our favorite spots for ceviche, and that's Punta Azul. Punta Azul has about seven locations around Lima and is only open for lunch. Many of the restaurants who serve ceviche here in Lima get their fish fresh every day from the fish market in Torrios which is a neighboring district just 10 minutes down the road from Mia Flores. We hungrily looked over the menu and then voila, food is here. The classic Peruvian ceviche is composed of chunks of raw fish, marinated in freshly squeezed lime, and includes sliced onions, chili peppers, salt, and pepper. The Peruvian term for the citrus-based marinade that cures the seafood in ceviche is the tiger's milk. Some will tell you that it's a great cure for a hangover. The mark Amazing. It's really good. Spicy. When it has a little kick and makes Harold cough, it's done right. Just an easy 35 minute Uber ride from Mia Flores, you'll arrive in El Centro, the historic downtown district. On this particular day, El Centro was heavily guarded due to some riots that had occurred in the weeks prior. But it didn't stop us from making our way into the historic downtown district and somewhere along the lines picking up a tour guide. Founded in 1535 by the Spanish conqueror Francisco Pizarro, Francisco settled in this location in Lima because of the three characteristics making up the area. The valley, close to the ocean, and easy access to the river. Known as the City of Kings, the historic center of Lima preserves some of the most distinguished examples of Spanish monumental architecture. Here in the square, you'll find the government palace, the municipality building, and the cathedral. The historic district is also known for these gorgeous balconies. Although the balconies were originally built to shield women of nobility from voyeuristic gazes, they were also the sites of gossip and lustful encounters. The balconies gave the women a chance to see the city but remain hidden at the same time. We took a little break from the sun and hopped into the Coco Museo store. Many products about chocolate. So the chocolate comes from the cacao tree. Exactly. You have to roast it, and when you roast it, you take out the shell to make a tea. It's a tea, yeah, made from the cacao shells. This is an alcohol drink called Pisco that is made with passion fruit, cacao nibs, and also sugar and, uh, and, uh, and the alcohol drink. Oh, 
that is muy bueno. <laughs> 45% or alcoholic. Mm. After the unexpected chocolate detour, we headed over to the main reason I wanted to come to El Centro, the San Francisco Convent and Catacombs Museum. It's part of the San Francisco de Jesus El Grande Monumental Complex, which was founded by Fray Francisco de la Cruz in the year 1546. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to record inside, but it holds a beautiful library with handwritten books from the 1500s. There's gorgeous tile work. You'll find similar to the tiles you find in Sevilla, Spain. And you'll learn about the catacombs and how the Spaniards would pay a lot of money to be buried here. The belief is when you're buried here, all your sins are forgiven and you automatically go to heaven. There are 25,000 people buried here in the catacombs, and on the Day of the Dead, the priests come to pay their respects. It's definitely a must-see if you're coming to Lima, Peru. Tickets cost about 15 soles, or in American dollars, it's about four bucks. The last agenda item on our to-do list today was to enjoy a fresh churro, and we heard we could find some good ones here in Centro, and we did. Freshly fried and burning the roof of my mouth, I got to try my first Peruvian churro. It was soft, doughy, and filled with a creamy glaze. The perfect ending to this amazing day. Well, that wraps up our fun day here in Lima, Peru. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to get alerts of our new videos, and we'll have more coming from Lima, Peru. But until next time, go explore. There's a whole world you deserve to see.